Well, I just wrote something at the beginning of something I, I was going to read. Uh, something so tragic about human nature. And if we understand things like this, then we can um, help ourselves. Um, you cannot move to pity the kindest cruelties, dividing sociopathology from universality. It's kind of partially based on something Jack Lemon once told in an interview. You cannot move to pity the man who wears your shoes, inside out to glove his hands, for reasons only you would not showcase so hypocritical. The youngest of his daughters won't betray him to art's finest law. Less is more. If property's division into dowry is the card you think be wild, the holiest of oils will restore your thoughts mad train. Some fathers hear more with their eyes when all disguises are unveiled. Realizing whomsoever you are to be, no one but yourself. Somewhere there's a line of verse pantamonic to the alleys, where within not one man or woman runs south the warring mind gunpowdered, who will no deeper go to disguise true love as misogamy. Rama weeps for her children. Abused by three vows, only one man among all men knew the strength to make his code. In two quintessential moments of time, the scorpion under burning twigs sees behind the cathartic human need that and this is what they they are incredibly cruel to them sometimes. And that's something that makes them kind later on, or the next day. Uh, sees behind the scorpion on the burning twig, sees behind the cathartic human need. The false misogamist weeps when he came there not to cry. But true evil cannot think in terms of the non-linear. I don't know if that man is still alive, the other man, but... You don't understand what I mean by that. You can only make linear movies. True evil cannot think in terms of the non-linear. Just as comedy born of unimaginable pain epistemologizes best human nature. Few men can survive unimaginable horrors. They are their exact opposites, whereas their exact opposites can never, by them, be realized. And that might be the beginning of a poem philosophy. Um, I get a blazing headache.